Hello everyone. Welcome to Linux Help Tutorial. In this video, I am going to show you how to configure NFS server in CentOS 7 machine. NFS stands for Network File System. It is a server. It will provide a service to share files over a network to our Linux clients. In this video, I am going to show you how to set up a NFS server and auto mounting the NFS share using AutoFS. For this setup, you will need a server and a client machine. Here, I am having my CentOS 7 server and CentOS 7 client. My server IP is 192.168.5.88 and my client IP is 192.168.5.89 I am going to export a NFS share in this server and I am going to mount the NFS share in this client locally and also I will auto mount the share by using auto FS now open your server machine to configure NFS server first of all you need to install package for NFS server for that type the command m space install space NFS star space hyphen y here I am using CentOS 7 machine for my CentOS 7 machine the package name is NFS star if you are using different distribution the package name may differ for example, the package name may be nfs-server or nfs-kernel-server like that. Before going to install any package, you need to configure your repository from locally or from the internet. Now hit enter. Now the nfs package is installed successfully. After installing nfs packages, I am going to share a directory which is located under slash ls hyphen l space slash I want to share this directory which is named as nfs share before going to share this directory we need to set the ownership for this directory to nfs nobody for that type the command ch1 nfs nobody colon space directory name slash nfs share and the enter now list to the directories here you can see the ownership under the group ownership let's change it to nfs nobody now we are going to share this directory to share this directory, we need to make entry in this file vim slash etc exports and enter. In this file, we need to create our entry for our NFS share. Type i for insert mode. Now type the absolute path for our sharing directory that is slash NFS share and space. Now type your client IP address or host name. My client IP address is 192.168.5.89 which is I am sharing this directory to this client only. For that I need to mention the IP address and open bracket RW for rewrite permission comma sync and close the bracket here sync is used for synchronizing the file over client and server if any update now save this file press escape type colon wq and enter after creating the entry type this command 
export fs space hyphen r this command will reload the exports now type this command export fs space hyphen a this command will update the share to the kernel now hit enter to view the nfs share type export fs space hyphen s and enter this command will list you what are the nfs share available in your exports file now i am going to open the firewall for nfs share for that type the following command firewall hyphen cmd space hyphen hyphen permanent space hyphen hyphen add hyphen service equal to nfs and enter this command will open the firewall permanently for nfs services and we need to open firewall for two more services type firewall hyphen cmd hyphen hyphen permanent hyphen hyphen add service equal to rpc hyphen bind and enter on firewall hyphen cmd hyphen hyphen permanent hyphen hyphen add hyphen service equal to mount d after adding all services in firewall you need to reload the firewall for that run the command firewall hyphen cmd hyphen hyphen reload and enter now all configurations is saved successfully in firewall after adding the firewall rule we need to start and enable the nfs services by running the command system ctl space start nfs hyphen server and system ctl space enable nfs hyphen server and enter now check the status system ctl status nfs hyphen server now my nfs services is up and running this firewall cmd and the system ctl command will work in latest linux distributions only if you are having any old distributions you can try command using ip tables for firewall and service service name start to start and enable the services now my nfs server is configured successfully now i'm going to mount the share in my client machine for that i will open my client machine to check the available nfs share from server run the following command show mount hyphen e space and the server ip address 192.168.5.88 here you can see there is a nfs share available from server for this client so we can able to mount the share to mount the share temporarily we can use the command mount hyphen t nfs space server ip address 192.168.5.88 slash nfs share and space slash mnt by running this command our share will be temporarily mounted after rebooting the share will be unmounted but now i want to mount my share permanently for that we need to make entry in fs tab file so i will type command win slash etc fs tab and enter here we need to create the entry the server ip address 192.168.5.88 colon slash nfs share underscore 
this is the source now enter the mount point slash mnt space file system nfs is the default file system for nfs server and the space default permissions i want to use default permission for this nfs server for that we need to take defaults space 0 0 and save this file press escape type colon wq and enter to mount all entries in fs tab run the following command mount space hyphen a and enter now my nfs share is mounted to check it run the command df space hyphen h and enter here you can see this nfs share is mounted under slash mnt directory in my client machine now we move to the share directory and we will create some file cd slash mnt here i am listing there are currently no files here i am creating own file called file1 and enter and type ls now my file is successfully created since we have write permission for this nfs here now I'm going to auto mode this NFS here using AutoFS. For that, we need to install some package. Type m install AutoFS space hyphen y and enter. This command will install the AutoFS package. Wait for some time. Now the AutoFS package is installed successfully. After installing this package, we need to edit two files under slash etc which is auto.master and auto.misc Now I am going to edit the auto.master file for that type vim space slash etc slash auto.master and enter Here create an entry as follows slash mnt This is the mount point for your nfs share and space slash etc slash auto dot misc space hyphen hyphen timeout equal to 60 seconds and press escape and save the file colon wq and enter now edit the auto dot misc file vim slash etc auto dot misc and enter here create the entry as follows share this is the share name for your nfs share you can give any name and space hyphen rw this is for rewrite and sync and space and the your server ip address 192.168.5.1 colon slash nfs share this is the source path for nfs share now save the file press escape type colon wq and enter after editing these two files we need to start and enable the auto fs service for that type the command systemctl space start auto fs under system ctl enable auto fs now the auto fs service is started and enabled now check the status system ctl status auto fs and enter here you can see my service is active and running Why we are using auto fs means when at system boot time if the nfs share is not available means auto fs service will automatically unmount the nfs share then only our client machine will be able to boot up normally into the 
desktop here you can see after running the auto FS services our mount point will not shown here but our NFS here is actually mounted to verify it type mount space pipe symbol space grub and space share this is the share name for our NFS here that we have previously mentioned in slash etc slash auto dot misc file now hit enter it will show you the NFS share is mounted on slash mnt here you can verify to list the files type ls space hyphen l space slash mnt here you can see there is a directory created under name share here I am listing ls space hyphen l space slash mnt slash share this is the file we have created previously since we have successfully mounted the NFS share using AutoFS so that's all about for this tutorial I hope this tutorial will be helpful for you to configure your NFS server let me see you in another video thank you for watching